Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about arc length of the cardioid. So I will show you the technique. First, we have R equal to 2 plus 2 cosine theta. Later that, we need to find first the derivative of this one. So you got about negative 2 sine theta. And we know that this should be from 0 theta to 2 p. And now the formula should be in here. We have the square root and we have r square. And first the derivative of r square d theta. So we put everything in here. So this one you got about 4 plus 2 multiplied with 2 is about 4 with 2 8 that is about 8 cosine theta we have 4 cosine theta square this one power 2 you got about 4 Side theta square. So this one with this one you got about number one. So we have four plus four in here. You got about a So we put the square root of number 8 outside. You got about 2 multiplied with the square root of number 2. So we will apply the formula in here. Cosine 2 a equal to 2 cosine a square minus 1 so in this situation we have theta in here so if we want to get about a we need to go about theta over 2 so that's why you got about theta in here and then we convert to cosine theta over 2 square minus 1 so we convert cosine theta into this one One minus one cancel. Square root number two. This one, this one, you got about four. Uh, I need to fix about this one. Because cosine theta over 2, they have the positive and the negative side. 
So in this situation, we need to go about 4 multiplied with 2, the integral from 0 to b, cosine theta square, or cosine, over, cosine of theta over 2, and you got about a multiplied with 2 sine theta over 2. We put the number in here, and you got about number 16. That's it, the end. Thank you for watching.